Good morning everyone. So far we have learnt about many animals. Some are so simple that their body is made of only two layers of cells. Some have three layers of cell but have no real organs. Some have simple organs but not advanced organs like we have. So which animals have advanced organs like we have? For example, stomach, heart, kidney, etc. Generally, a well-developed body cavity or coelom is required for such organs. In such animals, having well-developed and advanced organs, the coelom is formed from the pouches pinched off from the endoderm which is the innermost layer in the triploblastic animal's embryo. You know, in embryonic stage, there are different layers of cell called germ cells. Ectoderm is the outermost layer which forms epidermis, hair, nail, etc. Endoderm is the innermost layer which forms stomach, colon, etc. Mesoderm is the middle layer between ectoderm and endoderm which forms cartilage, bone etc. So you see if all the three layers are present in an animal differentiated tissues can be formed and thus apart from inside and outside lining some organs can also be formed. These are called triploblastic animals. However a true body cavity or coelom is required in which well-developed organs can be accommodated. So remember, both being triploblastic and having a coelom formed from endoderma cells is necessary for having advanced organs. Have you ever seen a starfish or a sea urchin? There is radial symmetry and the body is covered with spine. Now, a starfish has a coelom developed from pouches pinched off from endoderm. So, starfish and other similar animals like sea urchin fall into a separate group. They are triploblastic and have a coelomic cavity formed from endoderm. These animals have calcium carbonate structures that they use as a skeleton. They also have spine-like structure on their skin. Hence, they belong to the phylum Echinodermata. Echinos means hedgehog and derma means skin. So, they have spines on their skin. Now, Echinoderms have radial symmetry. They have peculiar water-driven tube system which they use to move around. So, they are very fascinating and these are exclusively free-living marine animals. Apart from coelom, developed from pouches pinched off from endoderm, another new design came into effect in the advanced animals, at least at some stages during their lives. A rod-like structure that provides supports to body. It runs along the back of the animal, separating the nervous tissue from the gut and a place for muscles to attach for ease of movement. It is made of cartilage-like material, not of bone. This rod-like structure is called notochord. Animals that have notochord fall in the group chordata and are called chordates. A few animals may not have a proper notochord at all stages of life or for the entire length of body. For example, marine animal, balanoglossus, herdmania and amphioxus etc. They fall into phylum protochordata. Thus, protochordates may not have a proper notochord present at all stages of their life or for entire length of the animal.
we and other mammals and animals such as amphibians reptiles birds fishes have a proper notochord but the rod like structure which provides a support is a backbone made of bones it is not a notochord made of cartilage yes we do have notochord when we are in embryonic stage but as we grow notochord is replaced by a backbone or a spine or vertebral column hence we are called vertebrates and belong to the phylum vertebrata the backbone not only provides a support it also protects spinal cord which is actually a long bundle of nerves and support cells you know the embryo of chordates that is animals of chordata group have a hollow tube like structure which is called dorsal nerve cord it later evolves into central nervous system as we know central nervous system has the brain and the spinal cord so what are the characteristic of vertebrates the phylum vertebrata has around 64000 species and they are the most complex creatures of animalia kingdom the main characteristics of vertebrates are they have a true vertebral column and internal skeleton they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic cilomic and segmented complex differentiation of body tissues and organs is present you know vertebrates originated about 525 million years ago in water today there are five classes under vertebrata they are species amphibians reptilia avis and mammalia this we shall learn in the next class until then bye bye and take care